So I hope that that has shown you a little bit um, has given you a bit more of an insight into the work that both myself and Train to Be Smart do within the area of mental health. I found the Train to Be Smart in 2013. Um, just to give you a little bit of a background, in, the, in my first year at Manchester United, um, my brother took his own life. So obviously I went, I went over and, and made a career for myself in England, but when I came back home, you know, there were a lot of triggers associated with Philip's death and, and, and I suppose seeing everything back at home. It started to bring the, the memories back. So eventually, and whilst I still do a little bit of physio work, um, my, my main work is, is surrounds mental health. I go out and, and do work with it with Mindwise, uh, which is a mental health organisation, and do a, a teaching programme called Bloom which works with 14 to 18 year olds um, to build resilience. Um, also, I, with the, the charity itself, the Train to Be Smart, I would be project coordinating as well. So the, the big drive at the minute is to get a permanent facility in which we can continue to build on the already positive work that we're doing. Um, so look, all I would say is, you know, in the area of mental health, um, all we're trying to do, whether it's the young people, you know, or whether it's the community generally, all we're trying to do is give them small steps um, that will, I suppose, help with their mental and emotional health and physical health as well, because it's, you know, it's a big, big part of your mental and emotional health is to, to continue to be active. Um, also, I think that, you know, mental health will bring up more questions and answers and it's important to have the conversation surrounding mental health which is why i'm doing this vlog um you know the smart to talk message is the smart stands for sharing my anxieties relieves tension and really it's only whenever i started having the conversation surrounding i suppose phillips um you know death through suicide and also you know the, the area of mental health generally and um, the thing started to lift for me again i think when i stopped playing i was stuck for a while and didn't know where I wanted to go but now I've got a real passion and drive back to, to continue to work within the area of mental health and believe you me it is such a big area because you know as I said you know don't judge a tree by its ability to climb a tree you know and that's the important thing within mental health we you know we all have our own set of skills our own strengths and it's really about re realizing your own potential but sometimes if you you know don't see good within yourself then there are people out there to support you by actually helping you to realize that you know it's okay we're not all going to be professional footballers i had a, a i was very privileged i had 10 years of um you know almost 11 years of getting paid for something i love doing full time but um in the, in the area of my mental health you know what, what sport does is sport gives you the ability to meet other people and gives you the, the ability to have a, a connection. Even the support teams gives you that connection. So that's why I think sport, when it's used in the right way, is a great medium to promote positive mental health. So I'll finish here. Um, hopefully that will give you an idea of the work that I've been doing and also the facility that we have at Centre Point. If you can, look up Train to Be Smart Juniors. Um, and it's great to see that you know the Endless Barrel is promoting the mental health message and obviously with being, me being a, a Manchester United, former Manchester United player but also a supporter um, it's great to put it on this vlog. Okay, I speak to you soon.